From the beginning, the aim of the, the club was also to become the first club of the new generation. Even if you don't follow football, chances are you've spotted Paris Saint-Germain's iconic crest on Travis Scott, Justin Timberlake, LeBron James, or Kendall Jenner. And the biggest names across music and fashion, like Naomi Campbell and Tygo, regularly join legions of fans at matches. Over the past decade, Paris Saint-Germain, known as PSG, went from being a team in crisis to arguably the top football club in France, led by unstoppable duo Neymar Jr. and Kylian Mbappe. Today, PSG is one of the most well-known and widely loved clubs in the world. And for nearly as long as PSG has dominated the pitch, they've dominated the fashion game. Recent ventures include collaborations with Jordan Brand, Bape, and Levi's. This is how Paris Saint-Germain became not just a football powerhouse, but a fashion trailblazer. Behind the height, Paris Saint-Germain. After 2011, we started to think about how can we can spray the brand in, in uh, different areas. Today, the result of that is we have about 91 million people following us, and a lot of them very young. Football and fashion have long been intertwined. Just look at the rise of terrorist culture in brands like Palace and Stone Island. But PSG wanted to push the envelope. In 2015, Colette released a limited edition scarf embroidered with the classic PSG chant, EC C'est Paris. That same year, PSG kicked off its first collaboration with Edifice on a series of hoodies, track pants, and accessories, but once more in 2018 on a cold weather capsule collection. 2018, the year of the 21st FIFA World Cup, also saw the announcement of a Babe and PSG joint 13-piece capsule. The back-to-back -back announcements of 2018 only continued with the news that Jordan Brand would partner with PSG. Key Jordan shoe collaborations include the Air Jordan 1, Air Jordan 5, and Air Jordan 6. Paris Saint-Germain was first founded in August 1970, when Paris Football Club and Stade Saint-Germain merged together. The creation of the club was pivotal for France. The country never had an elite club which could stand up against other top European clubs like Liverpool and Bayern Munich. In 1974, PSG moved to Parc des Princes, a 47,929 seating capacity stadium where the club still remains to this day. A few years later, PSG scored its first major trophy, winning the Coupe de France in 1982. But it wasn't until the 1990s that the club entered its golden era. With financial backing and ownership from Canal Plus, a French premium television channel, PSG took home numerous cups. But by the 2000s, PSG's golden era started to wane. After almost a decade of lackluster performance, a drastic change came for the club in 2011 with the announcement of Qatar Sports Investment as majority stakeholder. The acquisition from QSI flooded the club with some much needed capital to attract top talent. Thiago Silva from AC Milan in 2012, the second most expensive defender in football history at the time, striker Edison Cavani from Napoli with a transfer signing of 65 million euros in 2013, and then Manchester midfielder Angel Di Maria with a transfer signing of 44 million euros in 2015. Kylian Mbappe's 180 million euro transfer signing at the age of 18 is the highest paid signing for a teenager. And Neymar Jr.'s 222 million euro transfer signing is the highest paid signing in history. With its financial backbone now strong and top talent on its roster, PSG began to parlay its global recognition into brand building partnerships in fashion. The first clue of PSG's ambition came in 2013 with the Hublot King Power Paris Saint Germain. By 2015, which brought collaborations with Softnet and Levi's, there was no doubt PSG was going to take it the extra mile. In 2018, PSG announced their ongoing collaboration with the Jordan brand. PSG even took to the field in November of that year wearing a white t-shirt stitched with the iconic Jumpman logo. Younger fans responded enthusiastically to watching such a dynamic duo join forces, while older fans questioned the logic of a football-basketball crossover. According to Forbes, PSG is among the richest football clubs, ranked 11th worldwide with a team value of approximately 1.092 billion US dollars. On August 23, 2020, Paris Saint-Germain advanced to the finals of the UEFA Champions League, an annual football competition between the best European division teams, for the first time since its golden era. PSG's fashion philosophy is simple. Give the people what they want, and a little something they didn't know they needed yet. The club's approach to collaboration is focused and tenacious, much like its young, talented roster. Paris Saint-Germain is building towards its future, and other clubs might want to take note. Behind the height.
Andrew Maine.